Good evening and thank you for joining us for Crempton News at 6. I'm Mark Hanrahan. Welcome everyone. I'm Whitney Ward. Well, we begin tonight as the snow is flying once again across the region. It started falling a couple of hours ago, but there is more on the way. Let's get straight to meteorologist Tom Sherry with what we can expect from here. Tom? Well, we're talking about snow. One to two inches of snow possible in the Spokane area. Uh, two to three inches over in the Cordon Lane area. And farther south, Moscow Pullman. Once again, you can get in up to that three, maybe three to four inch range. You see, we're looking for, uh, again, that snow ending sometime after tomorrow morning. Mostly cloudy skies Saturday. We're going to get more wet weather on Sunday, but as temperatures warm into the low 40s, it may fall in the form of rain rather than snow. It just depends on the time of day that it precipitates. We've got that winter weather advisory in effect across eastern Washington and northern Idaho through 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. The roads are very, very slippery. Be careful. Right now we're at 28 degrees. That's a live picture downtown, and you can see the snow is coming down. Also a little bit of an easterly wind. Widespread snow extending all the way from the lower Columbia Basin up through Ritzville and into northeastern Washington and of course the panhandle of Idaho as well. So we'll look for an overnight low of 27 degrees. Chance of snow, snow tomorrow, but it should get above freezing with a daytime high of 36 degrees. We take a look at the weekend forecast. I've got dry weather on Saturday, but up to 42 on Sunday, hence chance of rain or snow. Of course, with the temperatures dropping low, you might want to watch out for the icy and slick roads. With that, we turn it over to meteorologist Thomas Patrick to explain road conditions and what to expect for this upcoming storm. Thomas? Yeah, Tom, we got some big snowflakes falling in our outdoor weather center right now. And while it looks pretty to stand in, we know it's not pretty to drive in. But I'll tell you what, it's a lot warmer this time around than the last time you stuck me in the outdoor weather center when I was reporting last Thursday night. And to that point, the warmer temperatures, relatively speaking, might actually help us out, but only a little bit. The expected high temperatures tomorrow are going to get marginally above the freezing mark. 34 in Pullman, 36 in Spokane would be just enough in the afternoon to help to melt a little bit of that snow off the roadways. Maybe not all of it, but a little bit. Maybe slush it over, but slush is better than ice, but but dry roads are better than slushy roads. So you still want to be cautious and that window of opportunity of being above the freezing mark will be pretty short lived. In fact, any leftover moisture or snow or slush that doesn't get plowed away before the evening hours Friday night when the snow is all finished snowing would just refreeze back over. So we still want to exercise a bit of caution out there and but at least most locations should be above the freezing mark come tomorrow. So you still want to be cautious even after the snow is finished falling because those temperatures will be back below freezing before you know it, especially in the evening hours. Absolutely, Thomas. Good reminders. Thank you so much. Well, the Department of Health, the Washington Department of Health, just finished up hosting a webinar about the state's vaccine phases. It was a chance for people to get the answers they've been needing straight from the state experts. The most common question right now, how will I know if I'm eligible? Well, the state is continuing to urge people to use findyourphasewa.org to find out when you're eligible. So far, about 1.5 million people have already done that. And another popular question is how much does it cost to get a vaccine? Um, providers who receive the vaccine agree to receive re agree to administer it without charging patients and all health insurers are required to cover the vaccine without any cost sharing without any co-pays without any deductibles and even if you don't have insurance providers are not allowed to refuse you based on your ability to pay so if you missed the live webinar, you can still register to watch it and then you'll receive a link to a recording. Just text the word vaccine to 509-448-2000 and we'll send that link straight your way. And severe weather here and across the country has led to delays in COVID vaccine shipments, and that includes much needed doses right here in Spokane County. The delays are also affecting appointments at Spokane's mass vaccination site at the arena. Ian Smay for our CREM2 vaccine team live in the newsroom tonight with more on this. Ian? That's right, Mark. That severe weather both here and across the country has led to about 90% of the state's weekly COVID-19 vaccine allotment being delayed. But state health officials hope more shipments will be delivered in the coming days. Due to the delays, the mass vaccination site in the Tri-Cities is closed through the weekend. However, the clinic here at the Spokane Arena was still open, and local health officials said in a press conference earlier the vaccinations still happened today. All appointments that were originally scheduled for tomorrow or Saturday are now being rescheduled, People who had those appointments should expect an email or text today with a new date and time window for their vaccine. Those who had appointments Sunday or next Monday will receive phone calls from the Department of Health to reschedule later in the week. Health officials have said they're confident the rescheduled appointments can be carried out next week. 
Uh, next week will just be a busy week uh, trying to pull in some extra staff so we have that extra support, but we're pretty confident that we can get them all done, make it all happen, and then moving forward, we'll just go week by week like usual. This means that the mass vaccination site will be handling appointments that were already scheduled as well as the makeup appointments, but this doesn't mean that new appointments are being canceled or delayed. Health officials said next week was already set aside for second dose appointments. So we're not actually opening another 4,000 appointments. Um, next week was meant to be just second dose appointments. So those appointments will be happening next week. The plan was to only have those appointments next week, but now we're adding in all of the people from this week that need to be rescheduled. Also here in Spokane, uh, Providence and Multicare have had to reschedule a number of appointments to next week due to a delay in shipments they were expecting to receive. Local health officials have also said those calling to reschedule your appointment should only be asking for a date of birth to verify your identity. Whitney, Mark. All right, Ian, thank you very much. Well, in other news, it is official. After months of speculation, Amazon confirms it is building a fulfillment center in Spokane Valley. Amazon says this facility is slated to open later this year and that it will create more than a thousand full time jobs. Creme 2's Amanda Rowley has been tracking this project for months. Tonight, she shares just what it means for our area. We were here in October with only the name Project Fireball to go off of. But today, Amazon officially confirmed that this site here in Spokane Valley is in fact another fulfillment center. This 1.3 million square foot facility on East Garland is expected to open later this year. The fulfillment center will soon provide more than 1,000 new full-time jobs. They come with a starting wage of $15 per hour and benefits. Amazon says employees will help pick, pack, and ship larger items, including bulk cleaning supplies, pet food, outdoor furniture, and sporting goods. I'm extremely excited when you hear that um, that, that this facility is going to bring uh, a thousand new jobs to our community. The, these are jobs that pay above minimum wage and have access to great benefits. Uh, I, I know Amazon is a company that regularly promotes from within. Uh, so if you can get one of these positions with Amazon, uh, you have great opportunity for advancement. According to Amazon, it typically begins hiring about one to two months prior to opening a new facility. Today, the Project Fireball site was like a beehive with trucks constantly coming and going. Amazon could not speculate how this facility would impact shipping times or if we could expect same-day delivery. But its spokesperson says the company tries locating customer fulfillment centers where there is a growing number of customers. That way it can continue to ensure fast shipping times. So it's a good thing that we're seeing Amazon continue to invest in Spokane County. It's absolutely a, a, a great thing to see in our community. In Spokane Valley, Amanda Rowley, Creme 2 News.